All right, here we are with the last page. Um, problem 14 and 15, and that's it. Um, I'll talk about this one in a second here. But the table shows the total number of tickets sold for the school play each day for five days. Again, we've got our ordered pairs. They've written them out for you. I'm not sure exactly how this will look on the test. You'll probably be given ordered pairs and you'll be plotting them, like dragging and dropping them on the graph. I probably won't make you write them. Again, I don't really know how to do that other than, yeah. So anyway, I know if you can do this, you can do this. So remember, like, I mean, they just take 120 and they put it there, all right? And then you just plot it. So graph the ordered pairs from the tiles in the coordinate grid. So what do I do if I wanna go 120? I go over, yeah, over one and up 20. So over to one and up to 20. Notice that their scale is different on the left than it is on the right. And then it says 230, so I go over to two and up to 30, okay, 345. So notice that it's a little bit different. Three to 45, three, I'm gonna go up to 45, which is between the two, okay. Uh, 475, we get this huge jump, four all the way up to 75, okay. And then five to 90, over five, up to 90. So one of the things you should notice about this is that it's not consistent, okay? So you have to pay attention. It's not always like a number pattern. This is just ordered pairs. 120, 230, 345. Well, this is a difference of 10. That's a difference of 15. And that's a difference of 30. And then a difference of uh, 15 again. So make sure that you just pay attention. Plot the points the way they ask you to. And then if you were to draw this, it would look like this. Or yours would probably look better than mine, but something like that. All right, that's it for that one. Okay, so on the bottom here, um, this one can be, it, it's been confusing for students in the past, the way they, they word it and they present it. But you just fall back on the things that you know. X right on top, Y on the bottom, and I'll look for my relationship. So that's all I got to do to label it. So for me, the graph shows the relationship between the amount of milk and water used in a recipe. So determine a rule that relates the amount of milk to the amount of water by writing the correct term or value from the tiles in each blank. Oh, whew, that's a lot. So I know it's probably not gonna be either of those two, right? Because it's always been multiply or divide. We just gotta decide which. So I know that this is my X axis and that this is my Y. And so if I were to draw these out, my, my X would go on top and my Y on the bottom. So this is milk. Right, and this is water. I'm gonna write H2O because I like science. Okay, and then all I've gotta do to find my rule is just fill in this little mini table. All I need to do it once because it's gonna the ratio is gonna remain the same. This one's gonna be consistent. It's our straight line, unlike this graph. Okay, so all I do is I go well. My first x is one. I go over one, and I go up four. Okay, if I go over one, up four, I could even do it again. I go over to two and up to eight, just to be sure things aren't weird, and they're not, right? So what's my rule? Well, it's obviously gonna be multiply. If I wanna go from milk to water, I have to multiply. So I'm gonna put times there. So which of these do I want? Multiply or divide? Multiply. Okay, and then I go, well, one times what is four? That's a no brainer, it's four. So I multiply by four, boom, boom, got it, done. Test over with. All right, I'm gonna put it on Class Dojo, which problems I want you to look at, and I'm gonna do my best to make it as close to this as possible. If not, it'll be easier, not harder. I promise you, all right, for the best of my ability. All right, see you tomorrow, guys.